So this could rank as the biggest nostalgia concert that TD Station in the St. John has seen because the whole province of New Brunswick will be heading uh, down to see this. And get the lineup here. You're talking much music, MTV icons. The Spoons, Men With Hat Hats, A Flock of Seagulls, and of course, the Canadian band of 1984, the 1986 Canada's version of uh, Bon Jovi in a lot of ways because they were just as popular with the young girls because the amount of singles he put out and the success that he had made him a household name. Away Babies and uh, um, Burning in Love and Bad Attitude and uh, What Does It Take and, of course, the uh, Did a Lethal Weapon soundtrack. But their single, a New Girl Now, which is celebrating its 40th anniversary this year, despite the fact it was recorded in 83, it was released uh, 40 years ago. Uh, became an instant classic. I consider it's a top 20 Canadian song of all time. Anybody who wants to argue with me, you go to a nursing home and play it. You're probably going to see someone in a nursing home, you know, coming out of their stupor and basically saying, where's the party? Now, written by Derry Grehan and released in a single in 84 from the uh, album Honeymoon Suite, the single reached number 23 in Canada, number 57 in the United States. The song is played in the episode of The Kids in the Hall, Death Comes to Town, Stages of Grief, <coughs> during the bar scene where Death is trying to order a drink. It also was features, uh, featured in the Bones episode, The Woman in Limbo, and also played in the Miami Vice episode, One-Eyed Jack. Now, the song is part of the opening scene in the 2008 horror film, Gutterballs. Now, in 2015, he received a SoCan, Greenhead, of course, classic war based on the song, having been played more than 100,000 times on Canadian radio. I think that's five times as much because every FM station in Quebec was playing it. The song is basically about a guy who was being either stalked or was rejected by a woman. He's got a, uh, uh, a new woman, and he, he's proud of it. And basically, the, the key line is, she's just like you. Uh, the video is tremendous. A very, very interesting mid-80s kind of dress-up young female at one point is so frustrated by the guy rejecting her, he, she throws a brick through the window and the brick bounces back in like a time delay. It's an amazing video. And the video is only uh, no more than 3 minutes 30 seconds, which is kind of long, but it can, it's considered one of the best videos of the 1980s in Canada. Now, the video has no parallel in Canadian history, other than Gowan's uh, two singles videos, because it made the band, they were one of the few Canadian bands at that time were directly known on video before they even heavily toured like across Canada. Now, they were a cover band uh, in the early 1980s. Now, Grehan said he had just entered a relationship and moved to college, so the song was partly based on fact. Now, their cover band were playing Billy Idol, ironically, flock, A Flock of Seagulls, and other early 80s rock stables at local bars in Ontario. However, Grehan had written a few songs of his own, which Honeymoon Suite would sneak in the end of her sets after fulfilling their contracts and playing 45 minutes of cover songs at bars. Loyal fans could hear the original songs at the end. Now, after driving all night from a gig in Elliott Lake to the producer's house in Toronto, the band recorded a sleep to pride demo of New Girl Now the next morning and entered the local contest. It won, garnering record label interest. And We at Canada sold that many copies of this. is unbelievable. They eventually booked Phase 1 Studios in Toronto and were so excited to finally play their own music that they dashed out their whole album in two weeks. Grehan and singer Johnny D said the band's nervousness and energy can be heard on the vocals in the final, uh, final recording. Now, uh, I don't rarely, uh, I rarely do, uh, do this, but I want you to re read you some of the lyrics, and you can tell me this is a, it's a rock song, sure, but there's country elements, there's four, uh, uh, there's there's all kind of stuff. But the lead lyrics are just Canadian classic. Just listen to this. If this is the first time you're hearing the lyri lyrics of this, this is what Canada was into back then. It leads with this: hot summer night, storm clouds in the air. My eyelids are so heavy, I'm feeling in the past tense. I'm hardly aware. I don't want you on the phone. Don't you play good girl with me. Why must I always say it again? I got a new girl now and she's a lot like you. Uh, the lyrics go on. I tried to wash my face, but my head fell too low. I tried to bear with myself, but my mind wouldn't stay at home. 
I don't care if you're sitting at home, somebody is broken into me. Why well, am I almost saying it again? And uh, basically, is that uh, uh, long distance relationship and the, the key line at the end, she's a lot like you, a lot like you, just like you. So he's, he's found someone that he is more tolerable who's just like the girl, maybe either sexually or emotionally or physically. But like I said, he's basically saying, you know, I'm tired of this long distance relationship because I'm getting nothing out of it. So when Honeymoon Suite uh, was touring back then, and this is this is how, how bizarre it was. Honeymoon Suite did a gig in Peter Roche, New Brunswick, which is on the coast of the North Shore near Bathurst, or right? call it Bathurst NB. A lot of people didn't believe that uh, the Honeymoon Suite was going to be in Peter Rush. A lot of people took it as a joke, me myself included. So the people that went, they couldn't believe it when the people went on st- when they went on stage. They thought it was going to be a cover band of Honeymoon Suite, and this was Honeymoon Suite, and they were singing Wave Babies, which is the ultimate beach song, uh, but besides Be Me on the Beach there, Jane Zimbery. Uh, the, they're basically the bass floors in the background, and all these beautiful Acadian and Quebecois women and two piecers that look like, you know, uh, you know, goddesses, uh, goddesses like crazy, and they're singing Wave Babies. We missed out a lot. So again, the TV station event is upcoming uh, uh, again in uh, in uh, November. So uh, this is the press release with TD Station. We're turning back uh, time for one nostalgic evening that will take you back to glory days of the 80s. The 80s club is hitting TD Station as part of their cross-country tour, and it's going to be radical. Again, honeymoon suite, a flock of seagulls, men without hats and spoons are joined the forces for an epic tour filled with nostalgic classics. Tickets go on sale on Friday, May 31st, and yes, the box office will be open. Find more information by going to www.tdstation.com slash the80sclubs, 80, 80s club, the hyphen it, the hyphen 80s club. So again, this is going to be a tremendous, I would figure the tickets would be in the uh, reasonable range. I don't think it'll be any more than 80 or 90 bucks, but if you're seeing, but like the spoons, I mean, uh, old emotions and uh, tell no lies. Uh, you know, I ran a uh, flock of seagulls, men of work, uh, probably uh, just as big in Canada that they were in Australia at the time. And, uh, you know, I, I think they won a, a Grammy for Best New Artist. But if you're in the TD Station area in November, it's the 40th anniversary of the Honeymoon Suite, and they rocked Canada from, from, from Canada. You see, uh, the Spoons is more like, folk, not say uh, pop, pop rock, but Honeymoon Suite, my God, talk about a party band, ladies and gentlemen. You know, you look at the great uh, uh, rock and roll bands in Canadian history, Guess Who and, and the Stampeders and the BTO. Uh, Honeymoon Suite, what they meant to that generation, my generation, uh, is tremendous. I'm going to be turning 60 in a year and a half, and I know one thing, ladies and gentlemen, I'm rich by the fact I saw Honeymoon Suite in their prime, and he sang the songs we wanted to hear. That's, that's a symbol of a great band. So that's the story of uh, a New Girl Now by Honeymoon Suite in the upcoming event at TD Station. Uh, I'm not getting paid to promote the show, but if anyone get one, gives me free tickets to the event, I'm not going to stop you. But as we, uh, like, we like to say in Northern New Brunswick, free is free. Have a good one.